All right, Doug here from Yaskawa, and I am at the Southwest Research Institute booth at Automate, and I'm here with Matt, uh, their senior program manager. And so Matt is going to walk us through kind of what they're showcasing here and how they are utilizing uh, one of our uh, collaborative robots. So Matt, with that. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, so today I'm Matt. I'm with uh, Southwest Research Institute, and today we're basically showing uh, an implementation of Scan and Plan leveraging ROS2. Um, and so what we're basically showing here is we have an, an article that can be presented in the robot's environment. The robot can pan around, and you'll notice on the screen it's reconstructing that, that object in the environment. So it has no prior knowledge, uh, but the object is showing up, and it's a colorized mesh, right? So if you look closely, you can kind of see the, the drawing we created shows up. So that lends itself for, we can add things like classifiers. Uh, but what we're going to do here is Tiffany, who's uh, our training coordinator for our Ross Industrial Hi, Program, <laughs> she's going to select a region of interest, right? And then once she selects the region, it'll automatically apply tool paths within that region, right? So she's going to just draw on the, on the mesh that's created. Look at there, a little square. Generate tool paths. And you'll notice here we've got those tool paths and it also includes not just the tool paths on the surface of the mesh, but approaches and departures, right? So it's process planning, not just tool path planning, uh, okay. right? So we Very like to important. think about the raster direction. Do we stay in contact as we raster? How do we handle approaches and departures? As you get into advanced surface finishing, the approaches and departures can kill you, right? So it's important to account for that. She then just says, hey, go do some motion. And it automatically teaches itself. Right, understanding where the part is, where those tool paths are in space. <clears throat> and then it does, in this case, dry erasing, mm -hmm. but normally we're doing things like painting, sanding, material removal. We're working on a really interesting collaboration with Yaskawa and PushCorp on casting finishing. And we'll be talking a little bit more about that later in the week. So obviously very excited to have this here and showcase advanced capabilities that you can do uh, leveraging the tools within Ross Industrial and, and using Ross too, and with great partnerships uh, like our friends at Yaskawa. Thanks, Wonderful. Doug. Well, thank you so much, Matt. Really appreciate it.